Hi ho, it's Silver with the last happiness hack of the year, which uh, is exciting, it's terrifying, it's all, all, all that it is. It's the holidays and this is a challenging time for people to be happy sometimes. I hope that's not you, but if it is, I hope this will help a little bit. Because we're gonna talk about New Year's resolutions and I'm gonna actually share with you what I believe is the only resolution that you need to make this year, which is to do everything in your power to get happy. Do everything in your power to get happy because most people make resolutions because they think whatever that goal is, when they achieve it, it'll make them happy. So whether it's you wanna lose 10 pounds, whether it's that you want to get a new career, whether it's you wanna get married or get divorced, whatever it is that your New Year's resolution is, um, you think that when you have it, it'll make you happier. And so I say, why not just cut to the chase and get happy now? Because uh, there's a universal law called the law of attraction that says you attract more of what you focus on. And so when you're focused on lack, like you're not enough because you need to lose 10 pounds, or you're not enough because you don't have the right career, whatever it happens to be, then you're focused on things that are making you unhappy instead of happy. So if in fact you make it your New Year's resolution to get happy, and, uh, and the way you do that is that you focus on the things that you love about your life, that you enjoy about your career, that you love about your body, whatever it happens to be, doesn't mean you don't get to lose 10 pounds, but it'll be a much happier journey and a much easier journey if you're focused on the end goal uh, instead of thinking, oh, once I get there, it'll make me happy, because it won't necessarily. Uh, what will make you happy is to get happy. <laughs> Seems too simple, but it's true. Now, this morning when I was getting ready to record this video, my husband was in the other room, and uh, he was in the kitchen, actually. And this is my husband. His name's Reggie. And uh, the kitchen is actually his happy place, which is a happy circumstance for me because my husband loves to cook, and I am not... <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not in my wheelhouse at all. I can do it if I have to, but I don't want to. So Reggie loves to cook, and he was in there preparing something, and uh, he was singing, and he was saying, he's half Sicilian, so he's saying things like mozzarella, and then I heard him doing his rap thing. He loves to do this thing where he goes, <laughs> and it's so fun to listen to when he's doing that, because it's just, it's just happy. Um, and, you know, I learn a lot from Reg about, you know, how to get happy uh, because it just comes naturally to him. I have to work at it. If you're like me, you probably have to work at it too. But it's worth working at it uh, because the end result is so amazing. Some of you know that I was clinically depressed for 30 years. And when I started to get grateful for what I have and to really start focusing on what it is that I have that I want and that I love, my life started getting better immediately. And that's available to you too. So you want to be a little bit like this uh, young woman on the phone, you know, instead of frowning or having, she, she's clearly texting with somebody. And uh, for heaven's sakes, don't use texting for anything important. <laughs> Please don't do that. She's using it to have fun and look how happy she is. And so that's what you want to emulate, either Reggie or this woman, whoever you relate to. But what I want to say to you is that I want to wish you a very, very, very happy new year. Uh, and know that the new year is going to be like a mirror for you. Uh, it's going to reflect whatever it is that you put out. That's both the good news and the bad news because you can change what you put out by just putting a smile on your face or laughing or focusing on what you're grateful for. So I want you to always, always remember that you deserve to be happy and it is possible. Bye for now.